A happy and fun kid, one who loved to joke, but always took his duty as Marine very seriously. First Lieutenant John Frederick Savigliano was only 29 when he was killed in Marawi during a treacherous 14 hours clash on June 9. He just told me, Mama, I'm okay. That's it. That's the last words we, he, I heard from him. Despite their grief, his mother and father still managed to exude positivity by saying that they knew he would die. They always knew. They had already surrendered him to God, knowing that he would be a sacrifice in the name of freedom for many others. They just didn't think he would die so soon in his career. We have requested na sana sa libingan ng mga bayani sa ililibing, and kasi it's granted. We are very happy. We are proud. Kahit na lang na matayang kami, we are still very proud that we have donated, we have donated someone to serve the country and died for it. We're very happy. Cool. Painful talaga. Kaya lang talaga yung... Uh, pero yung, yung uh, iniwan niya nga, no, sa... Yung legacy. Legacy na iniwan niya. We are proud of you. All of us. The coffins with the remains of eight slain Marines arrived at Villamor Air Base at around 5.30 p.m. aboard a C-130 plane. But the families weren't able to receive the remains until 8 p.m. when the president arrived from Cagayan de Oro. That is two hours late for the program. Despite this, the president condoles with all the relatives. One by one, he comforts the widows, the mothers. At some point, he appears to be giving what looks like a check to one of the Marines' relative. Presidential staff don't confirm, but do say that he regularly gives financial aid to the bereaved families. He also pays a visit to the wake of two other officers whose remains were flown in on Saturday. All ten Marines will be given full military merits, and if families agree, they will be buried at the Libinga ng mga bayani, with the thousands of men who perished with honor serving the Filipino people. Isabella Montano, CNN Philippines.